Hello Steve White, Steve Arts 89. Well, I just did a video about Madonna appearing in public in photos and then she released a statement. It reads, Thank you for your positive energy, prayers and words of healing and encouragement. I felt your love. I'm on the road to recovery and incredibly grateful for all the blessings in my life. My first thought when I woke up in the hospital was my children. My second thought was that I did not want to disappoint anyone who bought tickets for my tour. I also didn't want to let down the people who worked tirelessly with me over the last few months to create my show. I hate to disappoint anyone. My focus now is on my health and getting stronger and I assure you I'll be back with you as soon as I can. The current plan is to reschedule the North American leg of the tour and to begin in October in Europe. I couldn't be more grateful for your care and support. Love, M. So there you go. There is no, no concerts in July, obviously. We knew that wasn't happening. There's also no concerts in August or September. And they are actually delaying the concert up until October, which was a rumour I had heard because there was some talk of um, movement at some of the um, um, stadiums or arenas, um, wherever they were doing the concerts in October in Europe. I'm not sure exactly where they're starting off. But um, that's what I was hearing. But then I was also hearing that there was um, movement around the, the co concerts in America. But... Um, that seemed to be because things were just happening happening automatically and had actually had nothing to do with the actual current situation. Things hadn't been updated. So there we have confirmation that the entire North American leg of the tour has been rescheduled and the tour is going to start in Europe in October and then I'm guessing the rest of the tour will be um, rescheduled for the new year in America. But um, it's hard to tell exactly what they're going to do. It will all depend on around the stadiums, what's available, what payments they've made, um, what equipment they've booked for what places, and all, all the sort of things that go into those sort of logistics. That's, you know, all going to be the factors. It's, but, um, yeah, there's a lot of people now, a lot, a lot of people now with tickets, which in theory will be valid for the rescheduled concerts, but that doesn't mean they're going to be available. That doesn't mean they're going to be in the country. That doesn't mean they're going to be able to actually go. It's going to be a huge mess. You cannot schedule a tour this large with this many people. I think it was like 1.2 million tickets or something booked and just ditch half of it and move it into next year. So it's going to be a nightmare for a lot of people. Anyone with a ticket from October on will be fine. Um, but after that, who knows, you're going to have to reschedule, move things around, um, and there may be more concerts, you may be, I, I don't know, it's just going to be a mess, but um, at least we've got confirmation. A lot of people were speculating that this wasn't very serious and that she'd be up, you know, and back, you know, in a couple of weeks, and maybe the show would start on time, or maybe they'd just skip the first week or two, because she skipped the first week of her tours, for the last two tours at least, a, a friend of mine said actually more than that back to MDNA, but I wasn't paying attention to the, things like that that long ago, so I have to go back and check that. But the last two shows, she cancelled the first week. So cancelling the first couple of weeks, or maybe the first month due to illness, seemed you know fairly feasible, but now we're losing three months, all of July, all of August, all of September. So that's the end.